Hi everyone, it's Penny. Today I'm going to take you through the steps I did to create the accent wall in my bedroom in my latest makeover. What I started with was a one book page on the wall to see if the dark paint was going to show through and it did really well. So I just took some cream paint that I already had and I just trimmed around the wall so that any bit that was going to be showing out around these pages would not be that dark blue because I really wanted to get rid of this dark blue wall. It just made this room so dark and I wanted it light and airy. So that's the first thing I did. Then I started working on the pages and I created little chalk lines with my level so that I could just see as I was going that I'm pretty much staying upright. I didn't get obsessive about that because some of my pages I turned sideways and that sort of thing. And I just continued to layer. In just a second, I'm going to take you on a real-time video of watching me actually put a page or two on so that you can see the process. But it's very easy and you will find your own way. Okay, so I thought I better do just one little quick video for people who may want to know how I'm doing this piece by piece. I don't know if I can pull this off and do it at the same time and I'm in this tiny little narrow area between the wall and my bed. Trust me, there's just enough room for me. <laughs> so trying to figure out a tripod and all this would be tough. So if you can see, I'm just kind of layering over. I'll lay a piece and the next piece will get kind of layered over a little bit. There's no rhyme or reason to this. I do some plumb lines in chalk, but I found that I wasn't using them all that much. Because um, after a while, you just, number one, you, you can eyeball it. And number two, you don't even really care. Because <laughs> some of them I'm turning on their side and like that one right there to make space. So, these are all the pieces I have like cut up. And um, so all different sizes, all different shades. Some of them I've cut into strips that will fit into other places. Um, some like sheet music. I will tell you doing the bigger pieces of paper, it might feel like it goes faster, but I have more buckling issues with it. And the, so I really don't like humongous pieces. So sometimes I'll, like, I'll tear them up like this. Okay, so let's just, I don't want to cover over that, so i tell you what. No, nope, I don't want to put the music next to music because i got music right there. So let me find something else. Okay. okay, I don't have a dark or creamy color right here in this area that's that dark. So this is from a French novel, and it'll fit kind of right in there. So, well, like I said... So this is my trusty credit card. I use at my um, art desk all the time to smooth out anything I'm gluing down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this and show you at the same time. So when I'm doing this, I have to hold the phone right now. But normally I would have the paper in my hand, this in my mouth. I do it on the dry side. That's the glue side. So make sure when you pick it up, you pick it up for the part next to your mouth because that's your dry side, and you're going to squeegee it on, basically, with the credit card. I find this easier. I, I, I tried a couple other tools. I went back to my credit card. It's small enough to do the job. I can hold it easily, and I can get all the little bits and pieces. So while I'm painting on the glue, this is in my mouth, and then I put the, um, let me see if I can show you. So... Let me get it. The lid, I bought one of these, you can just, if you have one, Chinese soup or takeout or something. I just use the lid that's going on my little bucket here. Okay, does that make sense? It's very hard to film in this tight little corner. So the lid I leave laying on the side, and this is what I lay my brush down while I smooth the page in. Okay, so let's just try and see if I can make this work. All right, so it's going to go in this section. So I'm going to put a little glue. My glue is just Elmer's. I, buy, I bought the gallon at Lowe's. Okay. And um, I mix it in here. And then I just add a little water. I just don't want really thick glue like will come out of the bottle. Alright. So now I'm going to lay this down here on my little lid. I take my credit card. And get it over here. Put it in my mouth like I showed you. So I get this right where I want it. Okay. 
and then I start pushing from the middle out and you see some of it comes out and around I want that because I grab it with my card and go back over the front of it because I want a little coat on the front now there wasn't as much that seeped out so I'm gonna put a tiny bit more glue that's really too much I'll put it over here for the next piece I'm gonna do I just want a very thin layer Okay, and then I've already got a little glue here for the next piece that, let me see, there we go, that I can put right here. So, hopefully that helps. Um, it's not that hard and you're going to figure out if you want to do this and you try it, you're going to figure out really fast on a wall this size. It's not going to take you but a few pieces into it to um, have your kinks worked out on what you want to do. Um, I honestly find it better to work in one area and then maybe go over here and do another one and then come back and keep an eye on it because it'll tend to want to buckle after you do it and you're going to want to go back just a couple minutes later because that glue is going to and unless it's a really thin delicate page it'll handle really s scraping those bubbles out with the credit card and then it's going to dry flat so all this has been done with the Elmer's glue wash over top of it and there's not a shine or anything it's beautiful give it a try try a little small accent wall maybe first this is a bigger wall than I thought it was when I first started it's getting bigger by the minute but I'm almost done so more pictures coming soon hang on so when I was finished with the book page I took swatches of paint and put them up on the wall to see what I liked best and I chose the lighter color cream it's actually just an off-white winter white and I love the way it brightened up the other walls in the room. So this is my finished work here. The accent wall with my bed now against my back wall. It gives me more room in my art area. It takes my bed further away. I redid the lamps. There'll be a video showing you how to do that. And I also made my own desk for the studio. And there will be a video coming on that. So stay tuned. Be watching for them. Make sure you subscribe. And you'll get notified when the new videos are posted. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon.